All right, so good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, uh, 18th of October, 2022. And in this session, we'll have our internship graduation presentation from one of our interns, Marcel, in this case. So Marcel here is our business analyst intern, and he has uh, recently just finished his internship. And here he is about to share with us more about his projects, about his tasks and experience working in Bukit Vista. But before that, uh, let me actually introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shalin, and I'm here from the HR team, and I'll be the moderator for this session. And uh, I'd like to uh, have a quick introduction of the attendees in this uh, session as well. So we have a couple of people from the uh, business intelligence team in this case. So we have uh, Della, we have Felix, Jessica, uh, Lydia, Rafi, as well as Torik. And um, apa, role-nya agak bercampur ya. Uh, some people are from the data science team, some of them from the finance team, and uh, of course the business analyst team as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get this presentation started. So Marcel, the time and place is here. <coughs> okay, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me as for this intern graduation program. Thank you for coming. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm making this uh, just two hours ago. So hope you guys can enjoy about my intergraduation program and what I can tell what, what I do. So let us start from the journey to the BV. All right, the speech intentionally left blank, but so you can see that it was me before I joined BV, right? So a lot of things to do, a lot of goals that I had and tried so many things, lost, lost a lot of money of or capital to begin to succeed and that felt miserably until I need to get a, get a mentor, learn more. And I remember about two of my friends uh, in Gajabari University and both both was an intern here named Michael Ferlino and Dio. So I tried to apply it to BV because I have some, I, I feel uh, I get an interest towards the hospital services. Then yeah, I applied to BV. Uh, <clears throat> after that, after applying to BV, and do the trial, we get to onboarding. So this is like a timeline for what I did in BV, right? So three weeks in HOO, I love every minute of it. Thank you, Nadine and Gray. And then move to S move to BI to get the first day to do SPP report without knowing anything of it. Two weeks in confusion, a lot of things to learn from Kabali and Kafidi. It was a great experience. And then revenue projection, help Angie deliberately to help her without uh, little things that I actually understand about it. But I really want to know. A lot of mistakes, but get a deal, so that's actually good. Then guest experience SPP dictate extendable towards the guest team in order to improve the quality. And I have the final thoughts of it in the last special slides. So HOO, I was in the reservation team, handling inquiry, uh, talking with the guests, learning what they, they need and what they want towards us as the property management. It was a fun experience because in order to analyze the business of it, I think we need to know uh, what our market needs, what this guest wants, what they actually need from us, and what what we actually need to do. So it was it was a fun experience because uh, we we just do some chat things right uh, right here, right? But it's actually people. This this all. All of this is people, so I find I found it fascinating to talk with a lot of people and a lot of differences that they need. 
so yeah uh and can 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 put it here for the affiliates because it will be a lot of things after that to the spp report yeah this is the two weeks of spp reports that i've done i think it's two weeks i forgot about it i really i really confused about it but uh it's about creating reports towards partner about what we've done in order to improve their property, improving their understanding towards our capability as property management. Uh, it was, I was having a lot of constraints about creating these SPP reports. And I think it's really, really hard for me to understand about it, but glad that I can understand about other people's point of view and understanding towards this aspect report so I can learn more and improve myself too. So yeah, glad to be part of it. And then revenue projection. So it was uh, actually a sudden sudden request from KNG and I as a person can deny people requests. I think there's something there's sometimes a weakness for me because I, I I am so easy going, so I, I always accept their request and how to do, even though I don't understand that. The most important thing, the important is, thing is that I want to be better. That's why I accept this with a little understanding. So I create the revenue projection and then help by Kafidi, if I'm not mistaken, with KNG because we're meeting two people, right? Because I do a lot of mistakes then uh, attending the meeting with, I think it's Parizal. And talking with him and what they, what, what, what he wants for their property is actually really good because aligning, aligning what, what his goal is and what our goal is, is pretty fun to do. A fair fun meeting. And then guest experience SPP. What I do in guest experience SPP is inspecting guest review, inquiry, and communication to dictate the actionable for executor, HAR, guest awareness in order to improve guest experience. It was a fun daily task. And yeah, uh, pretty much same with, uh, with HAR because I learned a lot of what guests actually needed and what actually what what they've done in our property and felt and then we are fun day host it was an additional fun thing to do in this company to bond to love and to know each other well and i i'm glad i was the host yesterday so i can add this on what i did in bv because i always felt like i can do more so final thoughts I love, I've, I've learned a lot of things in BV, especially the core values, but uh, there are three things, three core values that I highly appreciate because it, uh, three of these touches more, uh, touch more to me than the other four, I think. Yeah. The never settle, fail fast, and help others to help themselves. Uh, I think I need to apply this and emphasize this as a human being. Yep, I've learned a lot of technical skills, to, such as business analyst, creative thinking, and my SQL. Thank you, Torik, Felix, and KVD. Then, dear future interns, as I found a lot of things here as an intern, and everyone know that I'm going to extend for future interns, there will be a lot of things that you will, you're going to do and you're going to feel. But keep in mind that despite any differences or what you think, the most important thing, it is using G. <laughs> Sorry for the typo. The most important thing is everyone here wants to be, wants the company to be better. So let's put aside our differences and focus on the goal. If that is to be better. And two things that you need to do is find mentor, have fun, and communicate with others. So, thank you, everyone. That is my IGP. But this, is, this is what I'm going to say. I'm not living. See you.
Wah, endingnya ya. I'm not leaving. Mantap. <laughs> All right, thank you Marcel for the uh, presentation. I think even like um, apa, when you explain about your uh, projects that you handled, the task that you did, uh, you actually mentioned that um, apa, you take it as a challenge ya, even though kayak maybe you don't actually get the context yet when you accept the project, but you still <coughs> eventually proceed with it and uh, you get your result actually from there. So I think uh, that's a really good trait that you are open and seeking for uh, challenges basically in your career. Nice. All right, that's for the uh, presentation from Marcel. And okay, let's see. Uh, we actually uh, got a few uh, people just uh, came in yeah, uh, for this session. And okay, hmm, kira-kira aku mau nanya ke siapa ya? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, coba, coba deh. Um, apa? Uh, can I like get a show of hands on who's been working together with Marcel the past few months? Coba dong, showing hands. Kan ada emojinya, gengs. So you can actually like show your hands as well. Okay. Hmm. Okay, pada malu-malu ya. Okay. <laughs> Oke, okay, uh, oke, okay, the only other person with the camera on, Dela. <laughs> Coba ke Dela nih. Um, uh, have you been like working together with Marcel? Um, if yes, then maybe like could you, um, apa, you could tell us more about the experience itself. Or if not, maybe you can tell us about your impression of Marcel there. Uh, actually, I work with Marcel with Marcel on doing SPP as well. Like first time I'm doing SPP, I asked Marcel a lot about SPP itself. Um, and I also work with him on reservations. So yeah, I work closely with him many times. And during that time, I would say that he's very helpful. Like he really applies the core value to help others to help themselves, I think. And then uh, Marcel is also inspires me to lead the team because I think like Marcel has a good leadership also when he's leading the reservation and I was uh, one of his sub super at that time so um, that's the inspiration that I get from uh, Marcel from leading the team but also um, he helps a lot when I don't understand some cases like what's the best um, solution to this kind of cases and he's quickly helped and he's been able to do that like almost all the time i ask him and then also like he always uh give me feedback actually but it's not written on the paper like when we have like bip 2 p feedback station he didn't write there but he write it uh directly on my slack <laughs> because he doesn't he didn't want like other people to see it that's sweet and also um i appreciate that a lot because he gave the, that feedback to me so yep to sum up everything i think like working with marcel is very fun and i enjoy a lot working with him okay nice thank you Della. and i believe uh, there will be more opportunities to work together with marcel yeah like in the near future as well <laughs> all right thank you Della. and okay um hmm, ini yang lain pada off can see set okay uh coba deh uh, let me try calling out to uh lydia perhaps lydia are you here hey, ka. Hello. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. Maybe a uh, similar question you guys see to Della. Um, like how, how is it like working together with Marcel if you have like worked together with him? Uh, if you haven't, then uh, perhaps could you share with us like, um, apa? pengennya like kerja bareng Marcel tuh di bagian mana sih? Kayak what kind of projects that maybe like both of you could um, apa, work together on gitu. Mm, I think I've worked with Cam Marcel like once in the very beginning of my journey here in Bukit Vista when he was my sub supervisor when I was doing trials and it was for hosting. So uh, perhaps everyone that has been in the hosting team before knows how overwhelming it is for uh, the experience to be, especially on the first day. 
like uh, with not as much preparation. But uh, having come Marcel as my sub sub supervisor that day was uh, awesome. It it made the experience really great and. As Della, said, uh, Della mentioned before, that how Marcel actually applies the core values, uh, that shows on my first day here in UV. So that really leaves a great impression, I think. <laughs> and yeah, I think how Marcel brings great energy to the team. And I don't think I've ever worked with how Marcel here in BI, but I see that he has a lot of um, great influence influence to the team as well so looking forward to work with commercial in the future i think that's all <laughs> okay thank you lydia for your comments as well yeah all right okay um okay maybe the next person um can i try calling out to felix kebetulan lu lagi on cam juga kan ya <laughs> Okay, Giovanna, yeah. Felix, maybe your impression or maybe your experience working together with Marcel, or maybe if you have any hmm, interesting like upcoming projects yang kamu pengen kayak Marcel to be involved in. Hmm, I work with. I don't think I work with Marcel a lot. Uh, in reservation, uh, I don't think I I moved to BI before. Uh. He joined reservation i think okay but beside that uh i think that marcel is a really cu curious person and he would like to explore other other fields as well like i was surprised that he was interested in, in learning like be, uh, making queries in sql specifically in data vista i i think marcel if he wants to he can uh, replace or help me in making visualization on data vista and also i would like uh i am impressed by marcel because he constantly gave his feedback on the tools that we have created of specifically that uh available unit search uh he gave his feedback to add some things like uh the listing link and also the the calculated price for the given date uh and i was uh he was the one the first one to give that idea to me uh and i would like to say thank you to him for that yeah that's it for me thank you okay Isaac, felix thank you um uh, for like sharing a little bit more about like your working experience with marcel yeah in this case and okay, uh, coba deh aku panggil yang di luar di AI deh. Okay, uh, we actually have Gray over here from the uh, reservation team. Okay, Gray, maybe uh, could you like tell us a little bit more? Um, apa since like I believe you also like um, apa oversees Marcel's work in the uh, operational team. Maybe could you like tell us more? Kayak Marcel tuh kayak gimana sih di situ? And what is your Mm, apa ya? most memorable moments with him there like uh, in working in the operations um i think marcel is a really a valuable person yeah on operational he always cover night shift so every every handover we have on day shift we hand it over to marcel uh so that uh, oh before extend <laughs> he actually uh have told me <laughs> i was like hmm i like to extend but he told me to keep it a secret but then suddenly <laughs> it's already announced on the all hands yeah <laughs> on tuesday <laughs> uh, so yep um uh, Sorry, I'm a bit late on the IGP as well, but I think uh, Marcel is a really valuable person to have in the BV because he's so, um, uh, what is it, diligent on his work and he's always open to be improved in any aspect. Uh, and he always, apa ya, kayak legowo kalau dikasih feedback. Begitu. So, yep, I think that's from me, Shalit. 
Alright, nice. Thank you, Gray. Uh, apa for our legowo Marcel gitu ya. I don't even know what legowo means honestly, but okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Gray. And maybe uh, last but not least, coba deh aku panggil ke Jessica. Jessica, are you there? Yes, question. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, okay, maybe Jessica um, can tell us like a little bit more juga. Um, apa? I believe you're also like directing uh, Marcel, right? Um, apa? In this case, as a fellow uh, business analyst uh, in this case. So maybe could you tell us more? Uh, kira-kira, what is the most unique part in Marcel's work that you have noticed? And like, how does this actually like Um, apa, apa ya, how does this uh, unique point actually kayak be his signature gitu loh Jadi apa sih hal yang membuat Marcel itu kayak Oh ini, like when you see this, oh ini ini pasti Marcel gitu loh <laughs> So uh, maybe maybe that one sih ya aku pengen tanyain mm, That's a bit hard ya yeah. I can't think of anything kayaknya <laughs> It's so sudden, apa ya Mm, but what I noticed from Marcel's work, gitu ya, uh, he's been in SPP, I think, almost from the start of his internship. And um, what I noticed is he explores, like his insights are, are up here. Yeah, they're, they're coming from his ex- exploration. So he doesn't just look at the things that that's in front of him but he also tries to go beyond it and um that's what i mean i think that's what's good for marcel from his insights in svp um like he's not afraid to speak up as well if something is is not like if it if he thinks it's not right he would bring it up and he would propose ideas so I think that's what's good for Marcel, but what's unique? Okay, so it's unique that <laughs> Marcel is not exhausted from four days of night shift <laughs> in a week because I think um, balancing between day and night is not easy at all. And yeah, I mean, I find it fascinating how how Marcel is able to cope up with four nights of night shift. From my side, that's it, Kashiru. Okay, all right. Thank you, Jessica. And yeah, uh, Mama, since like we do have like some time constraint that we, uh, Mama, it's actually like almost impossible to like call it to everyone uh, at this point. But uh, before we end this session, uh, maybe back to Marcel. Um, Is there anything perhaps that you want to deliver uh, to your team uh, currently present in this room or maybe to uh, the future interns, the future fisterns or future fisterns in Bukit Pista? Uh, for, for the team? Uh, for, for everyone you mean? Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, let's start for the team, yeah, because I stand right. Uh, I need you to know that Sometimes I'm, I I don't have a capacity to do. I mean, I'm not good enough, but keep in mind that I will try to improve. So try to bring me up to the party that you have to do the work. And yeah, let's communicate if you need anything from me. From me. For the future intern, uh, like I've said before that It will be hard, it will be exhausting, it will be, you will be have a lot of differences. But keep in mind that everyone in this room, everyone in this company want the company to be better. So put aside your differences and focus on that thing first. Yeah, that's it, Kak. Thank you. All right, thank you, Marcel, for the wonderful message as well to the team as well as future uh, Pistons in Bukit Pista. 
And okay, that concludes our uh, presentation for today. Thank you, Marcel, for the presentation, as well as thank you, everyone who is attending this session and everyone who has watched uh, this video up until this end. And yeah, once again, congratulations, Marcel. And uh, yeah, we hope to see great things for you in the near future. And that's